Well, Charlie here really isn't a big fan of aluminum cans, and I have plenty of them. Let me show you how to melt them down into some aluminum bars today. We're gonna start off by turning on our propane tank and adjusting the regulator. We don't want the pressure too high on the regulator, just enough to get the furnace started. I'm going to light the furnace with a torch, and then I'm gonna go back and adjust the regulator to get a smooth burn. So the best method I've found is to use this bar or pole or pike, whatever you want to call it, and kind of spear the pop can on the end of it. That's going to create distance between you and the furnace, as the furnace is obviously very hot. You don't want your hand near it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is to make sure all the moisture is out of these cans. Very, very hot molten liquid and water do not mix very well. So you can see this can here kind of explodes a little bit. That water boiled off and kind of blew the can apart because there's not very much metal in these cans. So just be careful, especially on a windy day, uh, these cans can kind of melt before they even make it all the way into the furnace. So it's important to remove some of the waste or slag from the top of the metal. You'll see it kind of float to the top. You can stir it a little bit, but this is just kind of a waste, kind of a byproduct of the metal uh, that you're melting. Now we'll take a peek in the furnace and there's your molten aluminum with some slag removed. All right, now it's time to pour. I've turned off the furnace and I'm gonna remove the crucible. I'm gonna set the crucible and pour over concrete pavers. And I highly recommend these as if any metal or anything drops on them, no big deal. You didn't ruin your driveway. So it's nice to have them on hand. So I'm gonna grab these tongs and we're gonna pour into a brand new cast iron loaf pan. Now you'll notice when we go and remove the aluminum after it cools, there's a lot of black gunk on it. That's not typical, but since this is a brand new loaf pan, that brand new coating is gonna stick to the bottom of the aluminum bar. So after setting for a while, it's still very, very hot, um, but we have a aluminum bar. Now I like to clean these up with a wire wheel, so I keep a cup of ice on hand so I can handle these right away. These stay hot for a long time, so the ice certainly helps uh, speed the cool down process. So after cleaning these up with a wire wheel real quick, here we have our aluminum bars. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to my other videos where I'm going to be melting some other stuff. Thanks.